YouTube. Your boy is back once again with another dating and relationships video. Okay, so the subject today is some women are made to believe that their pussy is more powerful than it actually is. Again, some women believe, they have been made to believe that their pussy is more powerful than it actually is. Yeah? Let me tell you, I don't really like to give too much examples from my personal life, but let me, like, I need to help you guys understand certain things. Yeah? I need to help you guys to understand certain things. So what better than to use real life examples? All right? So... There was this girl one time, yeah? Right? So, she knew one of my friends. I think they exchanged a, a few photos and that, but nothing really happened, yeah? And then so I, I got to knew the girl. I, get, I got to knew this female, yeah? And then I think my friend must have passed me over the number or whatever, and then I had her on social media, and she lived quite a distance away, yeah? So... You know, I was single at the time, had other girls back and forth and whatever. And this girl was not not, li not living in the same city as me. So, nothing really happened. And then, fast forward a little time, a little while later. So, me and, me and this same friend, we was, we was in a nightclub. And then... He only alert. He was only alerted like not too long before that that she was actually coming to that particular night, right? So I'm bear in mind I've not seen this girl in real life. I've just seen her on social media. She sent a few pictures, whatnot, and all that. Now, right. So towards the end of this night, right. So I think there was about an hour left of of the of the club, at, or maybe even a bit less, right. So I was actually promoting an event. So one of the things, um, and what, and what, one of the things that I was gonna do is once the the night finishes, the nightclub, I was gonna be handing out some promotional CDs outside the nightclub. So there was still about an hour left of the club. So I wasn't with the girl in in the club or whatever. I was with my my, my friends doing doing my stuff or whatever. Now it was like about an hour left or about forty five minutes left of the night to go. So obviously I'm waiting for the night to end and so that I can give out my promotional CDs. Now this girl, now she's so obviously she lives out, she, she lives out of town, right? So she's staying, she's staying in a hotel. She's staying in a hotel. The girl invites me back to the hotel. So now I've got this girl on social media and I've spoke to her. But you know, you know you're in contact with certain females. You're not too sure if you can seal the deal. You're not too sure if they're on it. Or as I said, with this particular situation, she lives out of town, so nothing's really happening. Y y yes, I want to sleep with the girl, right? D I make no mistake about that. But you know, a girl might be out of town. You, you might have other girls on the go, what, whatever, whatnot. And obviously, some girls you don't know if they're attention seekers. Some girls are long, so you're, you're not too sure. So even in the club, it's like, yeah, nice to meet you. So she invited me back to her hotel. Yeah, she invited me back to a hotel. Now listen to this. I declined for two reasons. Well, really, truly, the first reason should just be the only reason. There's actually two reasons. Right. So the main reason, now I have to put this in the correct moral order, okay? Let me put this in the correct order. So the number one reason why I rejected the offer to go back to the hotel and give her the good dick is because by this time I've met her I now have a girlfriend yeah also the second reason is that <laughs> ladies I know if you're watching the second reason shouldn't even count number one I've got a girlfriend that should be it boom <laughs> yeah so I get that part yeah but this is this is not what the story is about the, the, the story is not about whatever or what not the second reason is that I'm waiting till the nightclub ends so that I can give out the promotional CDs for an event that I'm promoting that's coming up. Yeah? Right? And the little the little side 
um, lesson you take from this, guys, is you don't you don't put you don't put girls over business. Okay, right. So that's a little that's a little side lesson. Yeah, side from the main point I'm trying to make in this video. So, so number one reason is I got a girlfriend. Number two, you and your friends are leaving now. I'm staying to the end of the night because I'm I want to give out promotional CDs, right? So, so I rejected the offer to go back to the hotel. Even a little side note, a funny thing that night is actually <laughs> there was actually three girls that night. <laughs> um, her plus two other girls that actually. <laughs> Offered me to go back to this that night. One girl was some substandard girl that I slept with in the past that I shouldn't even slept with. So definitely weren't going to. And another girl was a girl I did want to sleep with in the past but wasn't interested in her no more. But, so, but this main girl that I wanted to sleep with before, by the time I've met her now in real life, I've got a girlfriend. And then the second reason, which I know shouldn't even be discuss the first reason just is just the main reason yep i got a girl i know but the second reason is boom i've i've got i've got work to do after the thing in it like you don't put girls before you don't put girls before business all right so now let's get to the actual motherfucking point that i'm trying to make in this video so and the thing is like so as i said i got a girlfriend the girlfriend i was with like at the time like, I thought me and her was for life, innit? I've, I've, I've committed to this relationship because at the time I thought, yeah, this is me and that girl for life. It didn't last. Like, parts of my mind, parts of my mind told me I should have fucking gone back to the hotel and dug out that girl that I really wanted to sleep with because the girl that I was in a relationship with, that ended, like, abruptly. But that's another story for another video, if I even talk about that. But, so, let's get to the motherfucking point. Yeah, so, so this girl, remember, she's in contact with my friend as well. So my friend's telling me the next day, or or whatever, a couple of days after, that she was on the phone to him. She was telling him, I can't believe he turned me down for sex. She, like he said, she was like, she was in shock. She was saying to him, no man has ever turned turned me down for sex. Ever, ever. She said, I can't believe. How the hell? How can he turn me down? And obviously, <laughs> because this is a girl I actually wanted to sleep with. When he's telling me the story, like there's parts of my mind. Yeah, I, know, I got a girl, so shouldn't even be a thought. But parts in my mind, I'm like, fucking hell, man. And remember, she lives out of town. So, like, it's like. She, she just happened to be in my city at that night. I didn't even know she was coming to that event. Like, and then, you know, that that was that was a one-off opportunity to this girl that I wanted to sleep with to dig out her guts. But I declined because I had a girl. A girl that a girl that I thought was gonna be forever, but you know, it turned out not to be the case. But so the point I'm trying to make is. The way she's telling my friend, I can't believe he turned me down for sex. I can't believe. Lots of guys out there make some woman feel this way. Lots of guys out there. Lots of guys out there. Some of you guys. Be honest if this is you. Some of you guys make women feel this way. Because you worship the pussy too much. Yeah? And you make women think that the pussy is more valuable than it actually is. The girl was in shock and said to my friend, I cannot believe he turned me down. I cannot believe. Think about that kind of mindset that women have. Imagine we had that mindset. Imagine how much girls you have moved to. I'm talking to everyone, high value guys, blue pill guys, whatever. Every man has been turned down at some point. Every active man has been turned down at some point. And so for a girl, this girl, yeah, I wanted to dig out. She, she wasn't 10 out of 10. 
But yeah, I wanted to. I definitely wanted to. Like when I first knew about her, when I was single, I definitely wanted to fuck her brains out. Oh yeah, let me make a side note as well. This is not relevant to the story, but when I turned her down, if my memory serves me correctly, I don't even think I told her about my girlfriend. Which yes. To all you moral people out there and any ladies watching, yes, I should have just shut it down straight away and told her, look, I got a girlfriend. I, I might have, I don't, my, if my memory serves me correctly, I didn't tell her about the girlfriend thing. I said, look, I'm working after. And then, I, yeah, I think I also told her I needed to be up early in the morning. Which was true because I was going back to my girlfriend's house that night and we had to be up early in the morning to do something. So, but I don't, I cannot remember. Or maybe she knew I had a girl. I don't know if my, I don't know. I can't remember. I actually can't remember. But, yeah. So, regardless about... Because it's not... This video is not about, like... If I should have told her I had a girl or whatever. I turned her down. And, yes, me having a girlfriend was one of the reasons, yeah? But, did, like, going back to the actual point in the video. The mindset. I can't believe he turned me down. So, she wanted to fuck me. Or she wanted me to fuck her, put it that way. Let, let, let's use it. Let, let, let's do it the right way around. And I turned her down. So regardless, forget about forget about whether I told her. I, forget the fact that I had a girl. Let's just say I turned her down for whatever reason. She say she can't. She cannot believe I turned her down. She was in shock. The way my friend told me the story, I could I could picture the actual way she was doing it. Gentlemen, obviously, come on, guys. Obviously, I know. Like, it's not like this is the first gun I've turned. Obviously, I've turned down girls before. Obviously, men that are of, of a certain age and been in the game for a while and are not too, like, I'm not talking about no desperate three out of ten guys or whatever. Okay, generally, guys that are at least half decent and average. Obviously, you must have been in situations before when you've had to turn down sex. Whether, you know, you've had you've had more important things to do or, like, I'm not talking about your your, your girlfriend. I'm talking about girls that you may not have slept with before. Um, like, you've turned them down because you've got things to do or you just literally, like, no. Like, you're below my standard. Of course, them things happen, yeah? But... There are girls that a man would sleep with, right? And then sex is on the plate, but the time is not right for whatever's going on in your life. But you put everything aside because you worship the pussy. Yeah? And all these things, all these things that are happening, they just plant into the female subconscious mind that my pussy has so much value. This thing that a man would drop all his things for. This thing that this this pussy that suck that some men will drop all their things for just to get. She places high value on it. And it's because of you guys. Not all of you. But you that are watching, be honest if you're one of them, be honest to yourself. I'm not saying to comment below and bait up yourself and tell the whole world, but be honest to yourself. Are you one of the ones who make women think that their pussy is more valuable than it actually is? The girl said to my friend, I cannot believe he turned me down. Why can't you believe it? Why must I drop everything that I'm doing? Because you put the pom-pom on the plate. Why? Okay, obviously I've got a girlfriend at home that I'm, that I'm getting regular sex from, regular good sex from anyway. But that's not the point. Like, if I was single, there's still billions of other females in the world. So why can't you believe that I turned you down? I don't know, maybe she didn't see me as... Some super high value guy, and I should have just, I should have just been, um, I should have just been thankful that the pom pom was on the plate. But then again, she's the one that offered it to me. I didn't, I didn't pursue her. So, women, women, multiple women 
obviously there's there's some really unattractive women out there that obviously can't get a man and whatever whatever but so we're putting them aside but generally like the average woman and the higher the higher you know the nine out of tens and the ten out of ten lots of them are walking around just knowing that like they don't need to give it away because anytime they're ready to give it away they feel like certain men will drop what they are doing You understand? I'm not no Denzel Washington or you know David Beckham. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, you know some of these women are obviously un like they'll be really understanding, really understanding if Denzel Washington or David Beckham turned them down for sex. Do you understand? But the average guy like me and you, the, some of these women, they expect. They expect us to drop anything. They, and so they used they used this knowledge or subconscious knowledge to manipulate you guys. Some of them manipulate you guys out of your free non-sexual attention. Some of them manipulate you guys out of your money. Do you understand? A lot of these women place you guys in the friend zone because of this. Just think about it. This girl told my friend, I cannot believe he turned me down. He was telling me that this girl, she was so shocked. Gentlemen, if you take anything from this video, just know that the pussy is not as valuable as you make these girls think. Every female has one. Sometimes there's an opportunity, sometimes there might be some girl that you really want to have sex with. The, the opportunity presents itself. It's not the right time. Don't put, don't put a female over and above everything else you've got going on in your life. And in my situation, yeah, okay, I had a girlfriend. So you guys in relationships as well, don't make some of these girls fucking make you end up cheating on your girlfriend. If you're in a committed relationship, yeah, you're happy with your your girlfriend, she adds value to your life, yeah, you know, you got something good at home, don't fuck that up because um, some girls, you know, freeing out the pussy. If that's what you want to do, then you need to be single, yeah? Yeah? Don't stay in a relationship and then cheat, like, one or the other, you know what I'm saying? So... But it's not even about being moral. It's not even about just if you're in a relationship. It's about anything else you've got going on in your life. You could be single. You could even be in a pum pum drought. But right there and then, if you was in that situation that I was in, the girl from out of town that you didn't expect to see her that day, and she's she's offering you something on a plate, but you know it's gonna fuck up something else. You know, in my case, I had some business to deal with later on that night. Yeah, promoting an, another nightclub event is not a million pound deal that I missed out on. Okay, yeah, but still, I'm not putting the pump on above what I've got to do. Even if I'm single, you understand? So, well, if I'm single, I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll you know, I'll call her later when she's at the hotel when I finish my work. But that's not, you know what I'm saying? But again, still, I'm not putting the pump on before the actual, um, chronological events i've got planned that night anyway I, I hope you guys get the point so females some females think their pom pom is more valuable than it actually is and it's because some of you guys make them think that because of your actions once it's there available you just jump and so the, and so women can use this to manipulate you yeah consciously or subconsciously do you get the message? If you agree with me, comment below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, ooh, pardon me, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, then YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. That's it. Until next time, your boy is gone.